we're going to learn today how to clean our stamps. And I have three things that I'm going to show you. Um, and one I just recently fell in love with. Let me make sure I get all of this. So these are the three modes of, that I use for stamping. But before I get into that, we do sell what's called a Stazon ink. It is, um, it's like a really, like an enamel ink almost. I mean, it's almost like paint. So whatever you put this on, um, it's designed, I'm reading the back, it says designed especially for use on plastic, metal, glass, ceramic, laminated paper, coated paper, and leather. Not for fabric. Keep pad covered when not in use. So we do sell that. So you would want to use the special cleaner that we sell as well if you're going to use this stays on and it has the stays on brand as well all purpose cleaner. You would want to use this for this because this other things I'm going to be talking about will not work on this and you'll have your stamps all messed up if you don't remove this properly. So now that that's said and done. <laughs> We can move on. Um, we also sell a chalk ink, which I don't think I've ever used the chalk ink. Um, you might want to use this on chalk ink as well. If anybody has used chalk ink, let me know how you cleaned your chalk ink. The white, I think is pretty awesome. I, I don't know why I've never used it. I just haven't. But um, if you've cleaned your white chalk ink, leave, leave a comment and let me know. Um, and I will that way we'll all know did you use the stays on or did you just use um, maybe like the stamp and mist which is for regular ink okay so um, for the rubber stamps and the photopolymer stamps you clean them pretty much the same there's really not much difference um, the only thing is that the photopolymers do stain uh, with the ink and don't worry about that it doesn't affect the use um, and you can scrub 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 all day long and it's not going to take some of that red off that's okay though it, it's easier to find them <laughs> when they're colored like that and it doesn't affect the use so don't no worries there with your photopolymer now um, so this is not really like baby wipes, even though it's found in the baby wipes. I don't like baby wipes because of the smell. You don't ever want to use anything alcohol with alcohol. This is a uh, plant-based wipes over 99% water. So, you know, how can you go wrong with water, right? And then if it's plant-based, this is made without alcohol, parabens, fragrance, or chlorine processing. That sounds like that would be healthy for your stamps. Um, and I found these at Kroger, I believe Target has them. They're, it was like $3.50 or something for 72 wipes. But these wipes do not leave fuzz. Uh, baby wipes, cheaper wipes, when you clean your stamps, especially the photopolymer because they're so sticky, everything sticks to them. Um, so if you have a cheap baby wipe, or I shouldn't even call them baby wipes. Like I said, I don't use baby wipes. Um, these are found in the baby wipe section though, which if, if you're looking for them. Um, these have a nice thick feel. There's no uh, like fibers sticking out that we could catch on your stamps. I do find that if you blot your stamp when you clean it, um, then you, you, they do better, uh, but you can, you can wipe too. This is, these are sp particularly good when you use your Stamparatus. So let's, let's do some of this and let's put this in action here. So I'm going to grab my Stamparatus and I was using some stamps earlier that were rubber, but they needed a little bit of extra height so I was using just a thin piece of chipboard sometimes you might need to do that um, so I'm gonna put 
this here and I'm going to get something to stamp on <laughs> it's behind here um, so that's what we got right there and some ink um, I'll use my gorgeous grape and it is gorgeous isn't it I love gorgeous gorgeous grape she's left over from the um, Easter class that we had okay so maybe not so much with these but sometimes I'll, I'll purposely do it because with photopolymer it happens a lot more you get ink around here the wipes are so much easier I, I dab this first get most of the ink off of there just press it see it basically stamps and then wipes like that and um, but like I said with photopolymer I'm always getting ink on my stamp apparatus now if you don't use the stamp apparatus you can use the um, the chamois and the chamois I showed you comes like this I cut mine up because it's hard to use it without so the the, the things about the chamois okay they they dry out so I have to cover them up and they dry out pretty quickly which could be a good thing or a bad thing but I've also found out with the chamois even though I cut it up so that I could dab this I have found that let me dry this off and I'll purposely put some ink on the edges there I have found that one the ink will transfer to your hands if you um, use both sides and then when you dab, dab like that you can see I'll bring it up put something white underneath there <laughs> do I have something white um, you can see that there is uh, a little bit of the ink it, it more spreads than it picks it up it spreads it more than it picks it up and that's why I don't like to use the chamois with the stamp apparatus even though I cut mine up um, like I said, you, you really only need to use one side at a time. But um, if if you're using blocks, the chamois is your going to be your best friend. So I'll show you that. Okay. So for this, for the stamparatus, I love my honest wipes for both types of stamps. If I'm using a block and I'll get my block out if I'm using a block I need my paper <laughs> get my paper back out I should have did an outline but I didn't <laughs> so we get what we get all right so this I stamp and guess what now forget which side I use if I just take that and I do a couple of turns perfectly well not perfectly clean okay now it's perfectly clean so if you are only using blocks the stamp apparatus uh, the <laughs> the chamois is your best friend if um, you're using the stamp apparatus I would use wipes okay and then the other thing that is great for blocks if you if you don't like having to clean these and worry about them and if you have a whole one you can put it inside a stamp case some people do that I'll show you I'll use this stamp case they they have a blank one you can actually buy blank stamp stamp cases in the catalog they put it in inside here one of these and that's how they store it and then they just go which is a good good idea too okay so um, back to the other option that we sell 
and this is what I started out using and um, I still like it I don't even know why I stopped using it. oh yeah it's because of the Stamparatus if you're use and I always use the Stamparatus so I, I kind of got away from using this because I didn't I was using the Stamparatus all right so this is the stamp and scrub this is how it comes this is brand new um, I'm gonna open it up for you here Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Stampin' Scrub is pretty awesome. It has two sides of, of um, for cleaning. One's for cleaning, one's for drying. Now, the one thing that I did notice when I got my brand new um, one, let me run, grab, get something real quick, and then I'm gonna show you. So if you do this, you're going to see that it, it has fibers on it when it's brand new. I'll show you, see those little black fibers? You don't want that on your stamps no way because that's when you go to stamp those fibers are going to be on your stamps so you can take these out and i suggest that you do that i'm going to get my take your pick tool see if i can pop this out you can run these underwater um, and rinse them clean and I'm gonna just do this. When I got my first one, I used water. I ran it under water and then I let it dry before I used it. But this one doesn't seem to have quite as much as my first one did. My first one had a lot. Um, but if you go along the sides, you'll see that it does have It, it's it's a normal thing when you cut this if you've ever sewed with material you know that when you cut something like this it's going to have um, the fibers are gonna there's gonna be loose fibers on the edge until they're all worked out and so this this kind of helps work it out the best thing to do though is run it under water and then let it dry okay so this this side, how do you know which side is wet and which side is dry? It comes with little symbols. In this corner, there's three little raindrops. That means that this is the wet side, and it's gonna make sense in a minute here when I tell you. I'm gonna have to bend it a little bit. And I just did my nails. <laughs> That's why it looks like it's harder than it is because I'm trying to protect my nails. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that one's back in. And then on this side of the um, stamp and scrub is um, in this corner is a little sun. Uh, wait a minute. A little, okay, there's a little sun, sun here. And I guess you see this little thing here. So apparently this, this has to be in the same corner so that you can see the little raindrops and the sun because there's raindrops there and I bet there's a sun down there. So be sure that your, your little cutout corners are in the same, same place. So I'm gonna go ar around the edges here pick up all that extra loose fibers that I can. This is my um, roller. It's really for pets, I think, and lint. It's like a lint roller for pet hair and, and lint on your clothes. Okay, this gets up most of it. Um, you might, if, you, if you're real diligent with this, you might not have to wash, wash it. Let me 
Let me do it one more time because I want to make sure I get all that. But you can see this is all the fibers that came off of it. You do not want that on your your um, stamps when you're stamping. And you know, it's this is not a defect or anything. This is just life. <laughs> this is just life. Okay, so I'm going to make sure my little cutout corner is here so that, and again, I'm trying to protect my nails, making it look worse, harder than it is. Now, I'm going to show you how this works, and you're going to think this is really cool, because it is. All right, so where it has the little sun, that's where you dry your stamp. When it has the little rain drops, that's the wet side. So how you use this is you take your Stampin' Mist, and I noticed in the catalog that the this, they used to sell this two ounce bottle and the eight ounce bottle, but now they only sell the eight ounce bottle with a spray top, which makes more sense. If you use a lot of it, you wouldn't have to keep filling this up. Okay, so you spray. A couple in the center and you can use the whole pad you can start out in the corner and then work your way around so that so well let me use my uh, let me use my grape because that's that's more awesome to see in action all right so here's my grape I stamp you can see how dirty my stamp is it's got ink all over it. So I sprayed right here in the center. I'm gonna, you can see it cleaning that stamp. See, all that pretty purple. <laughs> and then you're gonna come over here and you're gonna dry. And I might have gone a little crazy there because I see <laughs> there's foam on the sides here. Okay, I did. I did get a little crazy. All right, so you don't have to scrub quite as hard as I did. So let's try that again. All right, so I'm gonna stamp it, stamp it down, and rub it gently. <laughs> you don't have to dig it in like you're <laughs> mashing potatoes, okay? <laughs> and then you dry it off, and then you've got this perfectly clean stamp. And then you can you can use the whole area and then when you feel like I really need to clean that it's got a lot of ink in it you do the same thing that I did before when I took it out you just kind of go in and push it up and rinse it under water you can use warm water put it in your dish drainer and let it dry completely um, not doesn't necessarily mean so much that it has to dry completely for the wet side, but the dry side you would definitely want it to be dry or it won't work properly. Okay, so <laughs> trying to protect my nails here. Okay, so I'm bending it in the center like this and then it, it pops right in place. All right, so that is the Stampin' Scrub. You use that with your Stampin' Mist. So, of all three, I would say that they all have a place in your stamp room. Um, this and this, the uh, chamois, definitely good for using with blocks. Um, this, you don't have to worry about keeping these wet. I keep these in a container. You don't have to worry about them drying out. Um, but these are kind of cool too because they just kind of it's kind of an all-in-one you wet it and it's pretty much dries pretty quickly so that's just personal preference and then for your Stamparatus I am suggesting that you use the Honest Wipes um, or you can use your cut your chamois up into little corp into fourths and use it that way. I've done both and they're all they're all acceptable. You find out what's best for you.
because you ultimately are the judge of what you like the best. But for now, that's what I have to show you for our More About It Monday, How to Clean Your Stamps. I hope that's helpful, and I hope that you guys uh, will join me again for my next More About It Monday.